Hello, I'm, I'm Terry, Terry Pierce, and I've been making telescope mirrors for quite a number of years now, more than 40, and uh, run telescope making classes to show other people how to do the same thing. When we're talking about making a mirror, the opticians hundreds and hundreds of years ago used different grades of sand, which is nowadays called really emery powder. So they would take their metal mirror, they would grind it to curve with the coarse grinding sand. They would make it smoother and smoother with finer and finer grains of sand until they had a very, very smooth surface. And then by the time you've finished and you're on the very, very finest grinding powders, it's unbelievably smooth, a beautiful, smooth, silky finish to it. They would then have an absorbent surface like pitch or even paper or silk or taffeta. So the idea is you put the pitch onto the grinding tool or a similar circular disc. That pitch is moulded to match the curve of your mirror that you've ground very finely. Once that pitch is hard and set, you put your very, very fine polishing powder onto your mirror. And you start polishing. The powder beds into the pitch. It doesn't roll around, it just sits there. And microscopically, it acts like a plane and, and it would make the surface go shiny again. And you are aiming to make an optical surface which is accurate to about a millionth of an inch. To polish a mirror is at least four, five, six hours of work. The one thing you must do is not keep looking at the clock because what you think is 10 minutes is only one minute past. There are various mentions of uh, mirror makers, earlier mirror makers, even Herschel, for example, as far as I can gather. Um, once he'd got started on polishing a mirror, he dare not stop, and he'd worked 10, 12, 16 hours without stopping, with his sister helping and feeding him, while he carried on polishing away on his mirror to get this absolute perfect optical finish. A mirror the size of the one we are making here was the size of the one that Herschel used to discover the planet Uranus with. And a little disc that size, it, it properly made, if you point it at the moon, it would show you craters on the moon no more than a mile across, and it would show you cracks on the moon probably about as wide as the River Thames. And all from a little polished piece of, piece of metal, cast, ground, polished by hand. 